I think Brazil has a thing for stairs. We decided to get this rotation. It's fried rice balls, apparently. Okay guys, we are going to Beko do Batman, which is a graffiti and street art area. It looks like it's gonna be 22 Brazilian real with an Uber to get there. Okay, we just arrived at Beko do Batman. This place is a high concentration of murals and street art. We just got out of the car and everywhere you look on every corner, there are colored walls. So we're going to walk along and see what we can find. Look at this. Everywhere you look, there's music playing. This place is so lively. So the art here changes all the time. It's not the same as it was last year. Constantly artists are coming here and changing up these things. So it got its name Beko do Batman because in the 80s, when it started, there was a huge mural of Batman, and that's when all of this started. Keeping the Batman tradition going, even after 30 years. Wow, that one is cool. I think that might be my favorite one so far. something with all this street art. Especially with this music playing. <laughs> I like this one. It's a little bit abstract, expressionist, a little bit of pop art. So like we wanted to stop at this part with this art here, mostly because there are plants coming out of some of this. So they have tile work. Look at this. No guns. Some of the places you can see plants are growing out. And in some of these, we even noticed that people were placing their belongings in them. I saw some t-shirts tucked in there. Not only are the streets filled with murals and street art, this whole area of town is colorful. Look at this building. stairs. I think Brazil has a thing for stairs. <laughs> Artistic stairs. As you guys probably have seen in Rio de Janeiro, there are very famous uh, steps there with tiles all over them. They love their color. Look at all these pieces of tile. That's so pretty. So we're getting a little mini version before we get to Rio. But then of course, if you keep watching our videos, we will show you the very famous ones once we get there. So that place was really cool. There are a lot of cities in the world these days that have street art and graffiti, but it's cool when it's all in one area. So you can just go there and have your fill instead of walking around the whole city looking for the best pieces. And it's totally blocked off so no cars are driving through so you can just walk down the center of the street and look at graffiti on both sides. So now we're looking for a cemetery. We saw it on our way here and it looked actually really interesting. It looked a lot different than the cemeteries that we are used to in a good way. What we're used to in cemeteries is seeing little headstones on the grass, but these are like these huge statues to represent lost loved ones. And there's hundreds of them. They go all the way down. Unfortunately, 
it just closed three minutes ago. So we can only show you from here a few of the stones. But I'm sure in Brazil we'll see a lot more cemeteries like this, so we'll be able to walk through and show you guys. It's so unique and beautiful. Okay, we're gonna get an Uber at this corner here. We thought about walking, it's only about a 30 minute walk, but Uber is so cheap in Brazil so far. It's like a dollar to go that whole way. So we've been taking a lot of Ubers since we've been here. It's a great deal. That's the way to go when you're Which in Brazil. Which is nice because it saves so much time. Otherwise you'd have to walk to all these places if Ubers were expensive. So you can actually get around Sao Paulo pretty cheaply with Uber. Yeah, we're totally up for the walk, but we would rather save time to see more stuff. Especially because we're hungry. We don't want to get hangry at each other. That does happen sometimes. sounds like and I got kiwi in there so it's a kiwi caipirinha really good pretty strong as Brazil does we're learning it's always strong we decided to get this rotation we got a rotation of food so we're gonna get all of these for $39.90 which is about eight dollars per person that's pretty good we're gonna try a bunch of Brazilian foods all at once we got our first one right here. So these are pastelezinos. And then we have isca de frango. And then these, I forgot the name of these, but these come with cheese inside. So it's like a cheese ball. This is kind of like an empanada. It has uh, cheese and meat inside. And then these are just like chicken nuggets, chicken strips. They gave us this on the side, which comes with the chicken, and it's like an herb sauce, kind of. It tastes like cream cheese. Very creamy, herby. Pretty good. Mm. Alright, now let's try the cheese ball. This is gonna be good, I can tell. Let's crack it open in the middle here. Oh. It's like a mozzarella stick, but I'm sure the cheese is different here in Brazil. Mm. Wow, I don't know what kind of cheese that is. It has some potato in there, it looks like. Now we're gonna try the pastelizino. Hmm. It's just meat. I think this one is missing the inside. What? It's just, oh, what? there's nothing. <laughs> let's, let's try one more and see if... <laughs> The first one you take a bite of, there's nothing in it. All right, there's meat in there. The first one, they forgot the meat. Whoops. <laughs> we should ask them. That is just carne, just like a beef, ground beef. So that's pretty good. Like a beef um, empanada. We are getting very full, but we had to take advantage of trying more Brazilian foods. So this is fried yuca. It's like a french fry, but it's more starchy. It's good, it has a little bit of a different flavor. These are bolinos de mandioca. It's fried rice balls, apparently. It kind of tastes like a fried potato. There's cheese in there, rice, and then a breading. And then we got fried chicken wings. Ooh, 
We had an awesome meal. We are extremely full and we need to go home and go to bed <laughs> at this point. It's been a long day. Awesome meal, we love Brazilian food, and we'll show you more Brazilian food tomorrow. So please like this video, it really helps us out. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment, any comment, and we will see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.